Hey everybody and welcome back to Wide Open Water. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to be camping in the back of my truck. Uh, the temperature tonight is going to get below freezing. Um, it's going to be a learning experience. I'll probably share at the end of the video things that I'll probably change for the future. But I'll go over the setup in my truck later. But right now it's time to set up camp. So let's get to it. So I got camp all set up now and I just found this barrel. I'm gonna have a little hobo fire tonight. <laughs> Obviously there's no shortage of wood here. They're building a house for my sister and brother-in-law. So I think I'll burn whatever I can tonight. And on this burn barrel or my hobo fire, we're gonna roast up some broths tonight. So should be fun. I think at this point too, I think I'm ready for a beer. So I'm gonna grab that, crack that open and then I'll get this fire started. Here is tonight's beer of choice. I have a Pseudo Sioux from Toppling Goliath Brewery. Uh, it's in Iowa. It's a great beer. So, as Steve Wallace always says, time for a step two. Cheers. So we got the fire going now. Well, I just kind of sit around and enjoy it for a little bit, finish that beer, and then maybe start thinking about making some brats. Really not too hungry at the moment, but we gotta have some dinner before we eventually head into the truck. So we got our brats, our buns. I'm gonna go put this in the fire because it probably hasn't been used since the summer. So I'm gonna do that quick and then we're gonna get to cooking this food. So my hobo fire worked out really well for cooking dinner. This brat probably got cooked a little too much but it is gonna be delicious. Well, it's starting to get pretty cold out. It's really nice by my hobo fire. Got some dinner cooked up now. We're gonna eat this and probably finish a couple more beers and probably head off to bed. Um, if I'm lucky, I, my parents and my sister and brother-in-law might stop out for a quick visit pro and probably extend the night a little bit. So we'll see what happens. If they don't come, next thing you'll probably see is probably me just jumping into the tailgate, so. Well, I'm finally in the back of the tailgate now. It was a fun night. The family came out and said hi. We had some beers. We cooked up some food. Uh, it's always a good time. Now, at least, I have all of this reflective material up. So I'm hoping that just like my body heat tonight will be enough. Right now, I looked at my uh, car thermometer like a little bit ago and it said 27 degrees. It's only 9 o'clock, so I'm sure it'll probably get a little bit cooler throughout the night. Um, I do have my Milwaukee vest on, um, I'll hook up a battery to that and if I get any chill tonight, I'll just kind of have this as an emergency. I'll try not to use it, but I mean, if I have it, why not use it? Um, other than that, um, I think I'm going to head to bed now. I'm going to wake up early, cook some breakfast, and I think we're going to do some work in the house in the morning. I think my brother-in-law and dad are going to come out here and I'll see them. So they might be my wake up call in the morning. We will find out. They might not be because I might be up all night because I'm freezing, but we'll find out. I'll see you guys in the morning.
<clears throat> if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. This whole truck camping thing has been an experience. I've learned a few things. One, as I remembered, but uh, butane freezes when it gets so cold. Uh, breakfast is not happening today, so no coffee for me. Uh, I'll just have to make that when I get home. I'm not even sure what the temperature is right now. I'm sure it's probably about 32. It's not terrible, but it's definitely cold enough for the butane to freeze. Uh, it was a lot of fun doing this, and I think if I'm going to do this, it'll probably be more in the springtime with the truck, just because ice fishing season is coming up. The rest of the winter, I want to do a lot more uh, camping on the ice while I'm fishing, try to share that experience with you guys. Uh, once again, thank you for watching, and I guess I'll just catch you guys later.